Hello guys, welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm back after receiving my first COVID-19 vaccination and being literally out of order for 3 days. I just hope the second shot isn't going to knock me out again. I'm going to receive it in 3 weeks so if there won't be a video for a couple of days, you know what's going on. However, today we got a pretty cool system. It's an Intel Core i5 74L, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, and a GeForce GTX 1060, all together in a median OEM case. I've done some modifications to this system. I replaced the stock GPU fan with an Arctic Accelero Mono Plus, simply to reduce its noise. And this worked well. It's also important mentioning that the GTX 1060 of this system hasn't got 6GB. It has got only 3GB of VRAM. That's pretty important because already in today's games you have to pay attention to best case, not max out the VRAM. This of course doesn't work in all titles. Warzone is a good example for maxed out VRAM. However, the performance overall is pretty solid in all tested titles. You're just not able to use the highest settings in some games anymore. A slight reduction in the setting to maybe medium or even low settings is needed in some titles. But 1080p is still possible in all tested games without any issues. The Intel Core i5 740 somehow surprised me. To be honest I expected it to struggle in some titles due to its for core for threads. It hasn't got any hyper threading like the Core i7 of this series got. But nevertheless this little fella made a solid job. It's not a CPU that will give you 100 plus FPS in all titles. But for 60 plus FPS it's still fine. So overall I'd say this system is a very balanced one. CPU and GPU fit together perfectly fine. They're matching each other well. There's no heavy bottleneck in any title so in my opinion, a very good system build. Neither would I pair the i5 740 with a stronger GPU nor would I pair the GTX 1063GB with a stronger CPU. But let's come to the real question. Would I recommend this system for gaming in 2021? Yes actually. It's as always, you get what you pay for. System prices are dropping right now so this one might be an option for you in use condition on eBay. I found one for 350 euros. This is a bargain, in my humble opinion. It's still good enough for 1080p gaming so yeah. Why not give it a shot if you're on a tight budget? You could even upgrade to an i7 later on if you need more threads. That's it for my voiceover. Ah uh, yes, before I forget. My Elgato HD 60S started to cause a crackling sound in my recording again. So I had to add music, like in my previous video. I hope you don't mind. If you like this video, why not support this channel? Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done already. I hopefully see you all in the next one. Stay safe and have a great day. Goodbye.
Eliminate all targets in the AO. Lousy contract. Let's get it. Move on my waypoint. Mark the buy station. Match point.
to that again, all defenders look away, nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle.